Liftall, the world's largest manufacturer of slings for the material handling industry, presents Safety in Lifting. Liftall operating procedures require that you always inspect slings before each use. OSHA states that the sling and all fastening and attachments shall be inspected for damage or defects by a competent person designated by the employer. Damaged or defective slings shall be immediately removed from service. In addition to these requirements, OSHA and ASME specify that chain slings receive a thorough inspection at least once per year and that the employer maintain a record of the most recent inspection. Slings can be divided into two basic categories, those made from synthetic materials and those made from steel. There are two varieties of synthetic slings, web slings and round slings. These slings should be removed service at once when you find cuts, holes, knots, tears, snags, abrasions, damaged fittings, melting or chemical damage, worn or broken stitching, or missing or illegible tags. If any of these problems occur with your synthetic slings, they should be removed from service immediately. An additional indication that a synthetic web sling has been damaged is exposure of the red core yarns. A sling in this condition should be removed from service immediately. Tuflex round slings should be replaced when cover damage is sufficient to expose the load-bearing inner yarns. The three basic types of steel slings are chain, wire mesh, and wire rope. Per OSHA and or ASME instructions, wire rope slings with the following conditions must be removed from service immediately. Kinking, crushing, bird caging, wear, corrosion, damaged sleeves or end fittings, missing or illegible identification, or heat damage. Wire rope slings damaged by heat can be difficult to recognize. A good indication of damage is absence of lubrication or discoloration. Another common cause for wire rope sling rejection is broken wires. 10 broken wires in one rope lay, or 5 broken wires in one strand in one rope lay, is cause for rejection. Chain slings must be removed from service immediately when they have one of these problems. Wear, nick or gouges, cracks or breaks, elongation, twisted or bent links, weld spatter, lack of component flexibility, missing or illegible identification, unauthorized or makeshift repairs, or excessive heat damage resulting in severe discoloration. See manufacturer's recommendations for specific rejection criteria. The following conditions on wire mesh slings indicate they must be removed from service immediately. Broken welds or wires, abrasion, corrosion or heat damage, missing or illegible identification, reduced flexibility, or field repairs. The safety inspection must include end fittings and attachments in both the synthetic and steel sling categories. According to OSHA regulations, end fittings and attachments must be replaced when they show any of these problems. Cracks, distortion, or wear. If a hook latch is present, it must be in good working condition or it could prevent the sling from working properly. Slings and their end fittings that do not pass safety inspections should either be destroyed or sent back to the manufacturer for further evaluation and possible repair. Never attempt to do the repairs yourself. Damaged slings and their fittings should never be used in any lifting situation. 
Web slings, Tuflex round slings, and wire rope slings cannot be repaired. However, undamaged end fittings and attachments can be returned to the manufacturer for possible reuse. Chain and wire mesh slings can be repaired by the manufacturer. We recommend that any reused parts or end fittings be proof tested and certified. If you follow the guidelines in this presentation, not only will your lifts be more effective, but much safer, and the life you save may be your own. Safety in Lifting is a special presentation from LiftAll, brought to you in the interest of worker safety and the efficient handling of materials. For additional information on products and safety procedures, contact LiftAll by phone at 800-909-1964 or visit our website at www.liftall.com.